today we've got a special treat. We're going to talk about this duffel from 1733. This is an exclusive Huckberry color. And if you know 1733, all made in Chicago, really great stuff. I really haven't had an opportunity to look at anything from 1733. I've been really wanting to try out their side packs, which I will do shortly. But, uh, and they really don't carry much stuff in stock. They would do drops that it sells out and you gotta wait till the next time. So for instance, the black and a green color on their website is sold out, can't get it. You can sign up for alerts to be notified, but they don't have it. So the only way to really get one of these right now is to go to Huckberry and get this cool color. It's a mountain brown and coyote uh, with this sort of burnt orange color. I'm not sure which one's coyote to them or mountain brown or maybe it's mountain brown coyote. Either way, super cool color combo. I really do like the way this all comes together. They got these little carabiner hooks on there as well. Everything is aluminum. But anyway, we're gonna get into all the details about both the duffel and their dop kit that also came in the same drop. They don't come together, they are sold separately. And we're gonna compare it to one of my favorite kit bags from GORUCK, the 32 liter dark oak heritage edition. We're gonna get that out, compare these things side by side to see which one might be best for you. All right, yeah, so the, what's really cool about this bag, uh, aside from really some cool features, is the material choices that they went with. This thing is bomb-proof, weatherproof. You are going to be happy with this uh, if it fits your mode. And to be honest, this is really going to give the kit bag a run for its money just because the way it lays out with one really key feature. More about that when we compare them side by side. But anyway, let's set this thing aside for now. This is the DOP kit, same material choices. They went with this or in that. This has got a 1000 D top, 1000 D bottom. So it's gonna be super durable for all of your needs and essentially indestructible. You don't carry this on your shoulder or you do carry it on your shoulder, you don't carry it on your back. So it's not gonna be something you would worry about tearing things up. The sides are all this X11 material, which is really cool, DWR coated. It's got everything totally waterproof um, the way this thing is designed. No AquaGuard zippers underneath here, but they got this really cool flap that just protects everything. Now, top handles, which are awesome. Shoulder strap, which comes with it. Really nice aluminum hardware, like I've already said. Uh, really cool, adjustable. Carry this thing in any mode you want. Here's one thing I really do like about this. They put snaps on the handle. There's one thing about the kit bag that kind of annoys me is there's no loop in there or snaps or other way. So 1733 solved it for you. Just put a snap in there. Just this thing keeps it together so you can quickly grab and go when you're on the move. Now that's something I do really like. Again, 1000D on the bottom. No way to carry this on your shoulders like a backpack, but this is a duffel, so you wouldn't do that. Uh, big handles on either end, super awesome. And really, when we come to external pockets, there's two and they're on either side, which does you know affect the width and profile of it if you've got them packed out. They're not internal pockets, they're external, so they push out a little bit if you've got them packed out. Just got a couple things in here, nothing really super big, uh, just something to kind of give it some dimension to show you what those pockets look like when they're puffed out, essentially. So inside, let's dive into the inside of this one. Again, 37 liters on this duffel. What I like about this top zipper, first it's buttery smooth, but they have this flap which just is oversized and protects everything on the inside from any sort of uh, weather that's going to be impacting it. I get super nice zippers, zip all the way around, and this is where we get to one of the best features of this one in my opinion, and the fact that it just flips open, and now you're just accessing the bag, which I think is a big plus for this one, the fact you zip it and now you're into it and you just, you have no trouble seeing what's in there, how it's laid out. You can kind of stack things and just go to town whenever you get to your destination, just kind of live out of it. 
One, there's two internal pockets. This one's bright yellow, and you know, this is where you put some other stuff. No organization in there. Don't worry about it. It's not what it's for. It's a duffel bag. Uh, inside the front is another zip pocket, which is super cool. And that's it. Inside, you know, 37 liters of stuff. Um, what else do I have in here? Let's just pack out a couple of hoodies uh, and a bunch of just field pockets and other things. I've got this Mystery Ranch uh, Desert Tracks thing um, from also from Huckberry. Super cool. And then you can see in here, this is, I'm just going to let this kind of sit for a minute. You got this nice little X-Pack backing of this material. So super cool, super durable. No water is getting in this thing. Throw it anywhere you want. It's going to be super cool. Again, super awesome. The one on this, the pocket on this side, this is a 500D for both these lined, if that's what you were curious about. Super nice, super buttery, no zippers, no zipper pulls on the inside. Just something to consider. But really cool, and again, super awesome. I just love the fact that, unzip the top, flip it over. Here we go. Now we're going home. Let's pack it back up. And that's just the way this one's designed to be used, which is super awesome in my opinion, um, the way it's designed. All right. That's the duffel. Let's crack into this dop kit. All right, dop kit. Now, in terms of dop kits, how complicated do you want your dop kit to be? I don't necessarily need mine to be overly complicated. I typically use the GR1 field pocket. The GR1 sized field pocket have for now maybe six to seven plus years. Just because this thing is the right size for me in terms of holding just the essentials. I like the way it clamshell opens. There's a couple of little internal organization things that I love about the field pocket for just about anything. Uh, and so I've used it for a long time and I don't plan on changing it because again, it just packs everywhere for me in the perfect size. Now, side by side, this is a six liter capacity. So it's a little bit bigger than the field pocket, you know, almost twice, I guess. Um, but this definitely is a lot bigger, um, but it lacks some internal organization. So it's size really is it's a little too big for me, but it does have some nice handles and some little hooks for you to hang it in different places uh, or attach it to things. For me, this is gonna be a little accessory kit that goes with this one. So maybe for socks, underwear, t-shirts. It's just a generally awesome size, uh, same uh, fabric, same X11 in this. So you really have all the abilities and the weather protection that you have in this, you have in this size. So really, it's a go anywhere, do anything, use it for camera gear. It's not padded. So just something to consider when you use the DOP kit. Let's dive in to see what it looks like on the inside. So inside, bright yellow, just like on the inside of that, one compartment. That's it. Pretty simple. Um, again, the inside of that thing is pretty cool. I like the inside of that. It's just really awesome. I think it would be really good for a lot of different things. You decide how you're going to use it. For me, probably going to be socks and underwear on a trip. So I think it's perfect size for that. So that's the new stuff. Huckberry exclusive colors only available there. Links in the description, of course. But let's compare this thing to my current go-to sidekick when I travel, because I normally have a backpack, go figure. But if I'm exceeding the capacity of the backpack I've chosen, then a duffel bag or kit bag for me is normally my go-to mode. And in that go-to mode is the GORUCK kit bag, 32 liters, 37, 32, and again, this one's in the wax canvas, dark oak, my favorite color combo. So I got it out just because it looks good everywhere. And it's just the feel of wax canvas is something I can just can't get over. This is, it has a different feel, but different materials, obviously. Now, the Go Rock kit bag, I've done videos on this. I'll link one here, has two side pockets, but there's no zipper. So these are good stuff pockets for a water bottle when you're out and about. Super cool, and again, I've done a video on this, but you've internally has two internal pockets. They're mesh, and then a top pocket that's good for things. Uh, you know, nice little rain flap over here. One access to the main compartment. And we go side by side, this is where the big difference, besides just the five liters capacity of added capacity here, 
is the fact that in this bag, you have to unzip once and then just accessing it is not as easy as sort of this design. So I like this, the fact that I can look around and see stuff without having to kind of pry this thing open and look inside the bag. So that's just a difference between the kit bag and the 1733 duffel. Which one do I like more? Mm, too close to tell. This one I do like for all the materials. Gonna take it on the road a little bit, see how I like it. Uh, you know, will I get rid of the dark oak kit bag? Not on your life. Or really any of my other kit bags. They're just really versatile things. Now one thing to th uh, also add is, and to consider, this one is not does not include the shoulder strap. The newer ones, the 1000D versions on the website, do include that. So now they are for a lot less money. This one, this one we're talking $320 US. That's what we're doing here. Not the Heritage, but to compare sort of apples to apples, the 1000D versions that they have are 125 bucks from GORUCK. Step up in material choice, a little bit more capacity, different opening system, snaps. Snaps on the handle, definitely love on that one because again, this one just, you know, there's never, I usually honestly carry a carabiner with me just to keep them together when I'm on the move because that's what I do. That's it. So there you go. That's the duffel from 1733 in this Huckberry exclusive color. Big thanks to them for sending this out to me. Looks awesome. Definitely should go check it out if it's still available. And the dop kit, you know, I think is more for me. Uh, socks, underwear, that kind of stuff, maybe some t-shirts uh, inside the bag. Again, I love the layout. Definitely gonna try this one out on a few trips. Um, maybe as the sole bag, single bag travel, uh, if that's your mode. And I think this one is definitely a keeper. Go check it out, link in the description. If you like this video, got some value out of it, giving it a thumbs up really does help the channel push this video up into people's queue so they can see more stuff about getting outside, doing things in the backpack realm. We got a lot more coming out. Uh, and I will get to the Prometheus Design Works bag that I've been promising to get to. I just, man, these things just keep showing up. Either way, more coming soon. Thanks for watching. Let's get outside. The weather's finally broken and the weather is awesome here. So I'm gonna go get outside, take the dogs, do all that. Anyway, see you in the next video.